Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Uh, uh, this one being recorded uh, on Twitch, so I might be interacting with the Twitch chat uh, if you're wondering what's going on. And this time I wanted to try out the UK large cruiser uh, against uh, some light ships because large cruisers are a thing that I really enjoy um, using. I think they're a really nice type of ship. Um, they can do a lot. Right. Um, go with the compact. I just love that neat, neat design. Hey there, fossil. Yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. No, oh, thank you, thank you for the look. Uh, I was watching uh, fossil play uh, Ultimate Admiral uh, last night, actually. So I'll give you a shout out, fossil. There you go. Um, although Alpha Eleven, I think dropped as I was what as we were mucking about. <laughs> uh, could you do a pre dreadnought against the large cruiser? Uh, I could do, but the pre dreadnoughts are basically useless. Um, doing things against um, doing things against uh, other the word I'm trying to use. Ships from the pre-dreadnought era with late game. T Beyond 10 years, basically it's a turkey shoot, is what I'm trying to say. Um, like, they're fun. Don't get me wrong. They're, they're fun scenarios to do. Um, but they they often end up just, yeah, just being turkey shoots. Which is fine if that's what you want to that's what you want to do for your video but um, that's the kind of thing I'll, I do when I've uh, if I've had a really rough day <laughs> like right 18 uh, 1890s tech for you 1940s tech for me and I'll kill you all with a destroyer or something like that right secondary guns we're gonna go with two inch Guns, because I want those destroyers very dead. And I'm going to show off the fact that you can fit guns to guns. Now, yes, it's a thing. Hmm. <laughs> Clearly, uh, this design uh, influenced by uh, the latest in orc technology. Uh would like some larger secondary guns. Sixes would be ideal. Okay, I, l I like that. I like that a lot. Got a bit of an half weight offset. Move the 8 turret forward a bit. There we go. Right, now we can build out the rest of the ship. Uh, range, uh, I'm just going to... Cheese it. Uh, with an oil burner, can we still make 30 knots? We can, 31. Well, that'll do. Uh, yes, I am in, indeed talking about that when you uh, obliterated a transport with 60 torpedoes. <laughs> Gun type, probably high TNT standards. We're not going to need anything bigger than that. I am going to need to be able to spot the torpedoes. So I'll flash fire chance with this setup. Two, two percent. Can live with a two percent chance. Oh, stop that game! Because it's because I use right click to move the camera around, so sometimes when you you can accidentally remove bits of your ship. Um, if we take a torpedo, we're dead. Although, ah, not on thirty-six thousand ton ship. 
Um, give me a 12, 6, 3.5, 2, can we get a 2, 4? Can. 12, uh, 6, new. No. 4 is okay. 4. There we go. Well, with a bit of uh, creative accounting, this would technically be allowable under the Washington Naval Treaty. I don't know what... Oh, for God's sake. I don't know what you would uh, technically classify her as. You certainly wouldn't get away with calling her a large cruiser, but she would fit under the battleship. Um, class. Will you stop doing that game? Oh my word. I, I swear it's worse in Alpha 11. <laughs> I don't normally just remove the turrets every single time, right? There we go. Interesting ship. Interesting ship. Let's see how she does against her intended prey. Yeah, well, it, it is a battle cruiser, I suppose. Um, uh, I've tr tried doing it in reverse. The number of uh, pre dreadnoughts required to kill a modern battleship is more than uh, the game can handle. <laughs> uh, infinity <laughs> is the answer. They do not stand a chance. It's a large light cruiser. <laughs> I believe that was the uh, terminology used to. Uh, um, make things up. But yeah, she's a 36,000 ton ship. So when you use the standard displacement uh, cheating, that kind of fits. Uh, 31 knots, 12 inch guns. Heavy uh, battleship grade armor, almost. Um, no, in fact, that is battleship grade armor. Yeah, she's a, she's an interesting one. Still, at eighty million, it's that is quite expensive. Let's go and find some enemies. Here they are. So they got a torpedo heavy. It's very big heavy cruiser. We've got. Is this the light? One of the light cruisers? Yeah, it must be. Would you like uh, some torpedoes with your secondaries? Yes. Um, okay. Torpedo dodging time, I guess. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah! <laughs> Experimental aircraft carrier. <laughs> So, we can do what we want. Where are the aircraft? Um, pass. <laughs> okay, so this is what we need to take on with the main guns. If you please. Might have been a, a little bit ambitious with how much I'm taking on here. Is that a target lock bug?
Oh, that was a good hit. 107 damage, fire and flooding. I'm just maneuvering in the hopes of throwing off enemy torpedo aim. At the moment, I can't see anything. I do have sonar 3, but... I know the enemy has torpedoes, so they're probably firing the damn things. Alright, another target lock bug. I'm not actually sure it is a bug, but... The way you fix that does feel like a bug to me. In that targeting and retargeting, there are some torpedoes. Okay, we get decent warning if they're being fired. Yeah, that's a total miss. The Urkel. Uh, pretty heavily armoured. Half our tonnage. Maximum bulkheads. Just a pathetic armament of guns. Much more designed for killing light ships, not something like the Bellerophon. Ricochets. Outrageous. <laughs> yes, where are the aircraft? Oh yes, on, on reflection. This is not the most successful uh, <laughs> carrier design. How with a 30% chance to hit? Surely our pen chance is decent. Oh no, it's not. Okay. I did say she was heavily armoured, right? Just need to get a little bit closer. Ah, there we go. Poked a hole in it. Flooding. And a couple of partial pens. Damage to torpedo. Couple of hits there. Partial. Secondary armament, uh, merrily firing away. Looks like the secondaries have had a target lock bug. So I'm just going to see if I can fix that. There we go. Because uh, six inch guns might be able to do something. Good hits again. Oh. Yep. We're in murdering range now. That's what I like. Heavy damage. Heavy damage on the air curl there. Come on, put it down. Before she can fire those torpedoes. Wonderful. Okay, heavy cruiser dead. For very little damage in return. We have a big spread of torpedoes coming out that the game didn't warn me about. I can see them though. Must have come from one of the light cruisers. Possibly other destroyer. Ah, there's, there's these two. There's a gap, though, and I'll go right through it. Thanks very much. Big hit on that light cruiser. The Vesuvio. Mm, few bulkheads, just under 10,000 tons. Not much armor to speak of. Yeah. Gonna have a rough time of it. Ooh. That would probably kill her. Yep. More torpedoes. Wonderful. There goes the Vesuvio. One thing I don't like, I don't know if this is Alpha 10 or Alpha 11, but the way the AI scatters to the four winds is annoying. And I noticed it in particular in the last Taskmaster I did. Um, 
just it's kind of irritating <laughs> I'll be honest no forwards 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 oh crap ah beans that took one on the nose hasn't caused serious damage though looks like the uh Complete lack of torpedo protection saved us there. <laughs> what kind of torpedo is they using? 21 inch? In 20s. Okay, so they're, they're small uh, torpedoes. Pompeo Magno. Uh, next. Oof. Another set of torpedoes coming out, but those are far enough away. I don't think I have to worry about them. Oh. <laughs> yep. Bye-bye. Bit of flooding by the nose on Bellerophon. See, we've got one destroyer all the way over here. Uh, this one that we're killing... And then two more over there, which is just, ugh. I think they're staying a little bit too far apart. For my liking. Come on, put it down. Oh, target log bug again. Off normal. There we go. Wonder why I wasn't hitting it. There we go. Right. Uh, let's go for the uh, Strale. But uh, well, we've got loads of ammunition. Do what you want. Guns retargeting the Strala. She does have torpedoes loaded. So I need to be a little bit wary, but that was a big hit straight away. And dead. Uh, did she get a chance to fire before she died? No. Excellent. Right, let's head back. For the uh, Impetuoso, who is pretty much reloaded. And then we've got the Soldato, who's doing her own thing. Look at that turn. <laughs> I would not want to be on board the ship when she does a hard turn. Look at that. Oh my word. Hell of a thing. Uh, damaged, fire, flooding. <laughs> hmm. Look, again, just the long range hits. That destroyer has fired. But uh, given the Fairly violent turn we did. I don't think that's going to be too much in our direction. Soldato just fired. So we'll keep an eye out, but. Destroyed a main gun, fire and flooding. Come on. There we go. 
chase it down. What else can these destroyers go? 41 knots. Well, she can escape if she wants to, I suppose. Might call it here, actually. Soldato, you are permitted to uh, escape to uh, tell the other Italian light ships. Or maybe we are closing. Will you get the chance to uh, run away and tell others? No, you won't. Excuse me, that's uh, my door. I'll just uh, leave the blur off onto it. And I'll be back in a minute. Oh, dearie me. Well, there we go. Did destroy. Um, sorry about the end there, but uh, a very effective ship, I feel. Um, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Although, uh, if you're on uh, Twitch, <laughs> I will uh, let you know what Millie was barking at.